So uh, that's actually the first time we've ever lost a chicken in our uh, homestead. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel and Homestead, of course. And uh, today we're going to focus on, well, it's Monday, uh, what we accomplished this weekend. Our dids, <laughs> the things we did get done, and the things we didn't get done. This would be our dids and didn'ts. So uh, we'll start right off with what we didn't get done. We did not get the hay unloaded from the trailer and uh you go come on rob and the reason being is over the weekend uh in the back we cut new sections out in the back property getting the sagebrush out and so i do that part and it got all gets all <laughs> it needs leveled basically which i'm not the most famous thing to do I'm not very famous at <laughs> uh, on a tractor. So Sherry proposed that we put a uh, attachment on our tractor. So let me show you really quick. So we have uh, this uh, spreader. I don't know what your blade that we uh, comes with the tractor and we've never put it on. So we did put it on. And uh, so yeah, there it is. And uh, it worked really good. Uh, let me tell you how that had, what that had to do with uh, the the hay so we're in the back of our shop which is kind of like a barn and that uh, blade was right here and so we wanted to put the hay in here but we didn't want to block the entrance into the garage till we got that blade on so that's why <laughs> we didn't get the hay unloaded so uh, yeah give and take However, I know I'm back in the garage here, um, main shop. We did get a refrigerator moved over here and running, which we traded this refrigerator for a pig. <laughs> Little dinky. So, uh, so that's where it should be, plus or minus. And uh, so we did get that done. Uh, but it seems like we always set up our goals for... Uh, the weekend and half of it never gets done but then a whole bunch of things that needed to get done got done so uh yeah so let's uh let's move on here now uh we haven't moved these chickens in a while so we didn't, didn't get that done however the rooster has been verified to actually start crowing so our second rooster has finally learned how to crow but he doesn't seem, uh oh, we have a problem. So apparently we lost a chicken. Uh, don't know how that happened. So something got in. So uh, seems to be the uh, same kind of problem our, uh, our uh, friends are having. They had a bobcat get into their things and I've just witnessed and I see Something got in here. Can't tell what it was. Let's see if I can see some footprints. But uh, something definitely got in here. Looks like I'll need to get the power back on. And uh, we need to figure out what got in here and killed the chicken. So uh, I'm not gonna show you. It's kinda, but uh, my fence is down and something got in here so looks like i need to step up our security so wow that was a surprise <laughs> doesn't expect that so i need to get a chicken out of here and uh we'll move on so uh that's actually the first time we've ever lost a chicken in our uh, homestead and uh, it was bound to happen all right as i'm going back to put a chicken in a hardcore uh, heavy duty uh, garbage bag and throw them away. Normally I'd bury them, but all my equipment's in the back. Uh, I did manage to uh, 
make a homemade chicken noodle soup over the weekend and then uh, cook Sherry a really nice steak dinner uh, uh, over the weekend. So we ate pretty good. We try not to eat out too much just because uh, it's getting so expensive but uh, it is nice to get a break once in a while so we do uh, try to go out once in a while. But yeah, what a sad thing to have a chicken lost. But we uh, will deal with it. I do need to tell you about our new sprinkler system. All right, so I'm uh, still on the inside property, but it'll be hard to see with this camera, but you can see we actually uh, have our sprinkler system working back here. So over the weekend, I got the timers and every two hours, a different sprinkler comes on and it goes around the corner around these trees and starts going around the property. And I've only set up four of them and it's kind of an experiment to see if it's all going to work all right. But uh, our goal is, and the other thing I did accomplish <clears throat> is I got the sprinkler done and the other thing I accomplished is we seeded this whole area once again along with many other parts of the property. and. Uh, Glad to get that done. And of course I told you I shut the Dutch bark bucket off. Well, I didn't keep my promise on that. I was still getting a couple of tomatoes. So uh, I turned the power back on, or well, the water back on. And uh, cause my, tree, my plants were getting droopy and everything because I shut the water off. And, uh, but I'm still getting some tomatoes even here in October. So, uh, well, keep it on for a while because we uh, we're getting 80 degree weather all week. So I turn that back on. I'm here. I'm going to check the water and see if I need to add any. And uh, all the plants are kind of rejuvenated. And uh, I guess I'm going to get some more tomatoes. So I came over here to check on these other chickens. I don't see any crisis issues here. Uh, this is a pretty secure uh, hutch here. And... Uh, I'll be really curious to figure out what, what got my uh, that chicken. Uh, and of course the people I was telling you about, the, uh, Amy and them, they thought it was a f coyote at first and later found out that uh, it was a bobcat. So uh, us, it could be a hawk. Anyway, we're going to find out. But the other thing I wanted to show you probably a little hard with this camera is this is the area we smoothed out with the tractor with that new blade and replanted it and have been wa ha have been watering it so uh yeah it looks a lot nicer and uh of course once we put that blade on sherry was having so much fun with it you think yeah uh, i pretty much lost the chance to even use the tractor because sherry loves loves playing with the tractor and new toys so yeah, I'm still, my brain is still on the chicken thing. I'm going to go back over here and look around for clues. All right, guys. So I checked around. I didn't see any unusual footprints or anything. So I'm not really sure who our predator is. But uh, I'll keep looking. Meanwhile, it's getting time to uh, feed some piggies. But the first thing is... Uh, one of our piggies was not feeling good yesterday. So we want to check and see. Uh, he was kind of dizzy and uh, not feeling so good. So uh, we're going to take a look and see. Sometimes just leaving them alone is the best thing to do. So let me check here. All right, guys. So uh, checking over the piglets. And uh, I had one that looked really not feeling good yet at all yesterday. We don't give our, our pigs any weird things. We try to avoid that. But uh, one of the things I've been told is sometimes we got a piglet that's not feeling so good. Uh, sometimes just leaving them alone and give them a day. And that seems to be the trick with this one because all the piglets look fine today. So they might eat something that didn't agree with them or whatever, but they're all 
uh, moving around just fine, walking around the one that was not feeling good. I can't even hardly tell which one it was. So that's good. So what we didn't do is freak out and uh, uh, worried about a, a piglet not feeling good. But I thought I'd show you the area that we smoothed out with the tractor, which is right here. So, uh, hi oh, guys. Uh, they're all hungry. But this is all smoothed out now, implanted. And uh, we were worried that maybe the seed or something that we spread uh, might have made one of the piglets sick. I don't know. But uh, anyway, they're all fine now. That's good. Happy about that. Yeah. I think it was this one right here. And he looks like he's doing just great. So let me make sure I'm going to get get these guys fed and uh, uh, see how the, you know, make sure they're all eating. And uh, the sprinkler system, by the way, is every two hours. So the second one's gone off already. Uh, got another one over here and another one right here. And we'll just keep continuing it through the property. And uh, we did uh, plant uh, cover crop throughout this property. So the only thing it's missing is water. So we're taking care of that right now. So right now, guys, let's feed some pigs. Come on, babies. Let's go. Come on. I am over in the farther side with the piglets over here and uh, got them all fed and watering up their uh, bowls and stuff. But I can tell you another thing we did not get done over the weekend, but we tried, is we took Fireball, which is one of our piglets in here, brought a, a kennel over. After a little bit of enticing, we finally got him into a, a crate. Then we put him on top of one of these uh, wheelbarrows and wheeled him over to Sparky because we're trying to make him a companion pig. So we got him in there. Sherry and I decided to sit down in the chairs and watch how well uh, Sparky and him got along and didn't realize that uh, the fence wasn't grounded properly. And uh, after about 15 minutes, the little one just took his nose up underneath the fence, lifted it up, came trotting right back here and so we just opened up the side of the fence here and he went right back in. So after an hour of work, in a matter of minutes, it went from Sparky's back to here and so here he is, <laughs> back over here. Eventually we will get Fireball over there with Sparky. So uh, anyway, I'm getting tired of being out Fox. And I gotta pay attention to these fences because uh, if you don't connect them right or forget to turn them on, um, you could have a problem and as we as we learned with the chickens now uh, Yeah, we have no idea what could have gotten that chicken yet, uh, but I'm gonna keep looking and Most likely if something got one of my chickens there the next thing will happen is uh, He'll be back whatever it is. So I probably should see if I can't get one of my steal one of my security cameras and move it over there and monitor those chickens and see if I can find out what's going on. So uh, yesterday, which was their Sunday, uh, we did uh, have somebody ask if they can come over for a tour, which we did. And so I want to say hi to Cody and Ashley, I think is her name. And they brought their three kids, very young. Anyway, they had a good time seeing the pigs and uh, we spoiled them the best we can. The other thing we did do is freeze dried some Skittles. <laughs> So it was kind of fun because we had some kids here. So they are just pulled out of the freeze dryer. So the little ones got to try freeze dried Skittles. They enjoyed that. And, uh, but yeah, so it was really nice to have them over. We've told people that if they ever want to come over and um, see the pigs or see some of our hydroponics or anything, they're always welcome here. So uh, anyway, that was a good day. So that's something we did do. Another thing we did get done these guys are still eating, starting to fill the water up. This wallow does not hold water very well, so gotta give them water a lot here. But the two girls are over here, get, got them moved. 
and uh, so that's something we did do, but that was earlier in the week. Uh, Sherry actually uh, uh, cleaned out both the pens that have the babies in them. Uh, basically all we do is rake up their droppings, uh, use a snow shovel, and we got a wheelbarrow over here that's full. I need to take over to a, a pile where we kind of keep all of our compost uh, droppings over there. And we uh, add them to the to the paddocks when we can. So yeah, um, so yeah, there's a few things we did do, but there's a lot of things we didn't do. Well, after further investigation on my chickens, I realized I'm missing two chickens. And uh, so uh, I think uh, not only that, I took the Energizer over there, but I'm also going to uh, try uh, have an extra security camera out here that hasn't been working because of the distance. So I'm going to steal it, see if I can get it to work over there. So that's what I'm doing now, going over here. Got a screwdriver in my pocket. <laughs> We're going to take the uh, security camera out of here and see if we can't monitor those chickens because once you get a predator, they t typically come back. All right, guys. So I, uh, I'm testing uh, this old camera right here. The problem is I don't have an antenna for it, but it is much closer to the house. So we're going to go check and see if it's working. Well, it's a little later in the day. I did uh, get a security camera uh, hooked up. I had to find an extension cord. So I powered it from over here. And uh, <clears throat> I now have a security camera right here. Um, to uh, monitor the chickens and see what's going on and uh, hopefully we can resolve plus I did get the power going on here so that'll protect them a little bit so I was glad to get that done so yeah uh, <laughs> and now Rooster's working doing his job pretty good now yeah I just wish he would have protected my <laughs> my uh, hen's a little better. One other thing I was going to mention is uh, my security system. We have six cameras and it can take eight. So I ordered one more, which I'll monitor over here now and uh, keep a little better, keep a little better eye on some of my uh, the critters out here. And uh, I'll probably get a, the last one and set it up somewhere out in the pigs to watch the overall area but yeah so I did, that is something i did get done so anyway guys uh yeah i uh thought i'd start to show off what do's and things that didn't get done but it turns out i had a little bit of that chicken crisis you just never know what's gonna happen next so anyway uh it is what it is so I'm going to wrap it up right here, see how things go. I'll keep you guys monitored on all that stuff and um, up to date and uh, go from there. So uh, please take the time to like, subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd really appreciate that. It really does help us. And uh, besides, you'd be uh, helping us with a new uh, fundraiser for replacement chickens in the future. <laughs> no, we get plenty of chickens. So anyway guys, have a great day and thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.